So before we get into today's episode, I just want to let you guys know that it is brought to you by the good old people over at Monster Bass. Now, what is Monster Bass? Monster Bass is a subscription-based company, and once a month, we're going to send you a box full of lures straight to your front door. Now, what makes Monster Bass really, really cool is that we are designing boxes for the region of the country that you live in, as well as the time of year that you are fishing. So what that means is if you live in the south, we're going to give you baits for the south. If you live in the north, we're going to give you baits for the north. If you live on the Great Lakes, we're going to give you baits for the Great Lakes. Then we're going to align it with the time of year that you are fishing to make sure that you have the tools that you need to go out and catch some fish now what i want you to do is go down below i have a link for the monster bass website go check out the website go check out all the boxes that we have i've also got a promo going right now it's one year so if you put in the number one and the word year all caps what it's going to get you is a free sweatshirt if you sign up for a one year subscription of the monster bass box so that's all i've got to tell you and enjoy today's video What's up guys and welcome back to another episode. So today is just plain strange. I don't really know what's going on. It has just been such a weird year of bass fishing. Showed up to the lake super early this morning to get on a little bit of a shad spawn and I found it. I'm up here in this river and so these rivers are obviously going to stay colder than the rest of the lake does. And so this water up here is just now hitting 70, 71, 72 and that's perfect for those shad to be spawning. And guys the water was practically boiling when i got here there was a ton of predatory fish up shallow a lot of stripers um you know some other fish pushing those bait fish but the bass i couldn't find them i threw a frog i threw a normal walking top water i threw a chatter bait i threw a worm i threw a creature bait a wacky rig i mean everything that i could at these fish and they just would not bite it's like they're not up there yet and so i've come down here more main lake we're going to start fishing some of these docks with a big worm and see what's going on i stopped on one dock up there first thing and actually caught one that you guys saw and there was a lot of grass up shallow so that tells me that some of these more main lake fish where this water down here is more like 75 76 almost into the 80s that these fish may be done spawning and they're starting to move back off and they're starting to get in this grass and use this grass and use these docks and eating bluegill and gizzard shad and everything else that swims around in here with them so we're going to start fishing some docks we're going to see what happens and hopefully you guys will enjoy today's episode There we go. Well, I'll tell you what. It isn't a giant. It ain't what I'm looking for. But it's a fish in the boat this morning. Especially when they're acting crazy like they are. So, there's one. There's number one. Lord of mercy. Visit Lowe's 
Hmm. Well, guys, there seems to be a fish on every single well, one of these docks, which is pretty funny. You go on the shady side of these docks and throw up in there and get you a bite. So I don't know. We're going to keep on keeping on here. I mean, obviously, this is very encouraging because here's the deal. Any uh, any one of those little tosses in there could end up being not one of those dudes but one of these girls and that's kind of what we're looking for we're looking for those big girls that are sitting out here on these docks just eating shad and bluegill and anything else that happens to be swimming around so that's encouraging after this morning you know this morning like i said in the intro was just i don't know what the deal is i've never seen anything quite like it. i've never seen the shad spawning as hard as they were spawning and there not be any largemouth mixed in with the rest of the predatory fish that were up there because a lot of what I was fishing was, you know, a foot, foot and a half, two foot deep. And, you know, it's not very easy for a big 35 pound striper or a muskie or whatever else kind of predatory fish that's living in this lake to swim up there and, and eat stuff shallow. And, you know, usually it's really dominated by those largemouth. And today it just wasn't. But yeah, dock fishing. With a big worm, I, yeah, I'm not going to complain. That's like, that's right up my alley. That is what, exactly what I like to do. So we're just going to keep hopping up through here. There's enough docks up through here that I can hopefully uh, run into old Bertha at some point and put, some, uh, put a big fish in the boat. So, yeah, we're going to stay after it. Oh, I just love when fish that size eat a worm that big. And they eat it like they're five pounders. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, y'all gonna have to get bigger. Y'all gonna have to get bigger. I mean, come on now. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm definitely getting bites. This is not the bites that I need. Um, three or four small ones now at this point. I'm just wondering where these bigger fish are at. I mean, because they've got to be up here. Water is 70.5. Um, I'm guessing a lot of these fish up here in this colder, more riverine kind of style stuff have just got done spawning. As late as it is in the year, um, I do believe that this colder water kind of keeps them from spawning, kind of delays them just a little bit. And so a lot of these fish should be hanging out around these docks. They should be hanging out the ends of these trees and stuff. And they are. It's just, I don't know where the big girls are at, which is really strange because usually um, up here where I'm at, it's all quality fish. I mean, I'm not going to say they're all giants, but they're all definitely in that two and a half, three, three and a half pound range. And every now and then you'll stumble across, you know, four and a half, five, even six pounders sometimes. Um, but those fish just don't seem to be up here. And it's, it's kind of strange. But every fish that I've caught, I've caught off of a boat dock. 
Um, and wherever I can find a boat dock that has some grass around it, it really seems to be the deal. But I'm just fishing this little uh, cutter worm from Rage Tail Strike King. I got a 3 8 ounce Beast Coast Bomber flipping weight, 17 pound fluorocarbon. This is my seven and a half foot custom pro rod. It's labeled as the ledge swim bait. Um, but it's a seven and a half medium heavy moderate fast and I have really found that it is good for You know swim baits on big heads. It's good for big worms. It's good for big jigs it's good for Carolina rigs It's just kind of a general purpose bigger Application kind of rod stuff where you're gonna throw just a little bit bigger weights a little bit bigger pieces of plastic It does really well and then I've got that paired up with my BB1 Pro 751 gear ratio and uh, Yeah, just that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of breaking down these docks um trying to find that bigger bite and maybe we can find it i don't know i mean it's i guess it's just gonna be one of those things that it's just like every other day you know you'll finally stumble into the area where those fish are at but there's definitely fish up shallow they're definitely wanting to eat this worm so i've got that going for me i've kind of figured out what the fish want to eat now it's just finding those bigger than average fish and i may have to go down the lake for them so we're gonna hang out in the river for a little while longer see if we can get a few more bites and then we may buckle down and run down in the lake a little bit and see if we can we can get a bot, so. When I cut my toenails, I like to do, <laughs> and have them go through the order that they do their toenails. And then the next person says, well, I, I like it to do the same way before I start on the left. It's like, I just, what, what brought this up is, um. Golly. <laughs> oh. oh. Y'all are killing me. Which is, it's beer in Look at these little dinkers. I mean, what are you thinking, fish? You're trying to eat yourself. We've been turkey hunting, and I arranged it when we got. Well, guys, I tell you what. I can't figure out where the big fish are at. Um, we caught some fish today, that's for certain. I just can't seem to find that bigger bite. The whole shad spawn thing this morning was just amazing to me. I don't really understand where those fish were at, what they were doing, why they weren't up there feeding on those shad. And then the dog bite amazed me too because usually that's a deal when you're throwing that big you know, seven inch worm around those docks. They're usually better than average fish and today, they just weren't. I mean, it was funny to me how many of those fish that I caught were, I mean, some of them weren't even as big as the worm. Like, I don't know what they were thinking when they were trying to eat it. I know what they're thinking. That's what makes those fish big up there is the fact that they have an appetite like that. But right now I'm kind of watching this storm. Uh, had a little pop-up blow up in on me here. It's thunder and lightning, and wind blowing, carrying on. So kind of watching this, just staying uh, near some stuff that I can get under just in case I need to and just kind of flipping this brush and stuff in the water. I think I'm gonna go run to a different area of the lake um, once this kind of gets blown through here and, and fish some different stuff. Maybe go look for some deep fish or something like that. I just kind of, I'm really perplexed. This, this whole year has just been so weird and I've said that several times and I know you guys are probably getting tired of hearing me say it, but I, I have to think that other people in the country are experiencing the same kind of just weird weather weird fishing that we got going on here but we're gonna stay after it. uh regardless we're gonna stay out here for a few more hours and see if we can put some uh some bigger fish in the boat because my bu buddy mr tyler anderson is coming into town um wednesday of this week and so trying to find some fish so that me and him can go have us a good time and i don't know if this is going to be the lake i don't know if it's just going to be a function of running some different water and kind of figuring out where they're living or what the deal is, but I will get it figured out. And you know me, uh, there will be fish put in the boat if, if it's the last thing I do. So yeah, we're gonna stay after here, wait for the storm to blow through and then do a little moving and grooving and see if we can catch some more fish. And shooters and hunters are like, wow, this is a rifle that I really want to own. I think it's also something you can step into. There we go. Oh God, come on. <sighs> oh yeah, we get so many emails. That was a hell of a fight though. Lots of emails daily back. People kind of trying to dig through the all the rigmarole and language, right? They're like, I want to go 
get right above our shot. Hand me down, going by. What should I get? That doesn't make sense. I get overwhelmed. And now I'd be like, bam. Yeah. There. Wrong kind of small mouth. Yeah. yeah. And like, as I said, versus where else has it, but also weatherby.com. And just to review that process real quick, is that if you were to go to weatherby.com and select a rifle, well guys i've been dodging storms all day but i think that one right back there is finally going to get me i just took a look at the radar and this one isn't just a little pop-up it's actually a big storm that's like covering the whole state so i'm gonna go ahead and get off the water before this thing gets too bad and i get blown off the water or anything like that but yeah we're getting today's video right here it's just I don't know guys it's, it's, it's been a strange year and i keep saying that uh water temperature today never broke 78 and it is going on the third week of june which is just absolutely insane to me you know usually you're having 90 degree days and 90 degree water temperatures by now but not this year this year has just been very mild um, and i really think this has been like a normal summer i think for the past few summers we've just had really really hot summers and this is the first kind of normal one we've had and we're not used to it um, but yeah, it's got these fish in a little bit of a funk. It was strange to me this morning to see those shad spawning like they were and not see any fish around them. Um, and then to go down through there with a big worm on those docks and not be able to catch any big fish because usually you know, that big worm around those docks in that grass, there's a bunch of big fish. So I'm gonna have to figure out where they're at or what they're doing because I'll be honest guys, you know, a lot of people say, well, go out deep. Well, those river fish that I mess around with for the most part are gonna stay in that five to ten foot range and they're going to get in that grass and that's where they're going to live and they just don't seem to be there so they're somewhere in between being shallow and being out there in that little bit deeper grass and i'm just going to have to figure out where they're at over the next few weeks but today i caught all my fish on two baits the first one was a moon juice cutter worm it's actually the magnum cutter worm i was selling that on a 3 8 ounce beast coast bomber flipping weight some 17 pound fluorocarbon on my seven and a half foot loose custom pro rod bb1 pro on their 75 uh, one gear ratio just awesome little setup and i caught all my fish around docks on that and then i started flipping a strike king structure bug in um, chameleon little quarter ounce weight some 15 pound fluorocarbon 7.3 this is the super grip rod i had that paired up with my lose pro ti 75 gear ratio and that was really what got all the work done today now no giants but we put some fish in the boat and honestly that's all that matters to me i had fun um, i think i'm going to get back after it tomorrow i just got to watch and see what all this weather's going to do I really need to like shut up and go get my boat loaded up because I think it's about to get like really rough. But regardless, I think I'm gonna get back after it tomorrow and then uh, Wednesday as well. And then my buddy Tyler is gonna be here Thursday and we're gonna make some content together and just kind of hang out. But as always guys, thank you for watching. Questions or comments, you know where to go leave them. Um, and yeah, go down in the description. I have partners linked, all that kind of stuff. But as always, you guys are sweet. We'll see you next time.